Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've actually posted a video, but I decided to do one because Halloween's coming up. It's one of my favorite holidays and I'm super stoked about it. I actually went and purchased a whole bunch of stuff on Amazon and I would have to say um, I'm excited about my cat suit and I've got a whole bunch of things going on. I even got a glue gun even though I don't think I'll be using it, unfortunately. And today, the hair dye actually came in. It's not really hair dye, but it's temporary hair dye, but I think it's called Hylicare or Halicare. So this is actually a styling hair wax, and what happens is you take it and you rub it between your hands, and you just put it through um, freshly washed hair that's been blow dried. They say that when you actually blow dry your hair, you want to put your fingers you know, into where the roots are and just stimulate it and just make it a little bit more voluminous and fluffy looking. And, um, I th what else do the instructions say? The box is kind of weird. My box did come a little bit damaged, but I'm okay. I mean, as long as the product in there is okay, then I'm fine. And as long as it doesn't give me an allergic reaction or whatever, because I do have sensitive skin, which means I have a sensitive scalp. So, it says to use, um, to create rich and dynamic molding, first in the clean hair, use a hair dryer to blow the hair naturally fluffy, state, head of hair blowing hand against the hair root. I think I explained that earlier, but yes, you just blow dry your hair with your, while doing this. Uh, let's see what else it says. It has this whole section on the other side, so this side was the directions, right? And this side was all about... Um, things you, it says the difference between on dirty blonde hair and on brunette hair. Let's just skip to where it says um, to the brunette section because obviously I'm a brunette. It says on brunette hair was used to add a pop of silver in the bangs. Worked out beautifully, distinguished look, left the hair feeling hard but did not have expected hold. This, mind you guys, this is uh, in the red color so I have no idea what's going on with silver. It says tips. You can also use a paddle brush to help evenly distribute the product if needed. So I have a comb and let me go find paddle brush. Now I have a comb and a cheap old paddle brush um, that I don't have any problems with if it gets stained because I mean it's been with me for a long time but it's plastic and it's awesome. So we have these two items and I guess we're just gonna go ahead and apply this. Unfortunately, I have this thing where I love it when my hair is clean and just washed and stuff, and I just hate putting things in my hair, which is why I don't really style my hair or do anything. I just wake up, wash, and go. And then, I don't know if you guys can tell, but does my hair look like it's different colors, right? But this is my natural hair. I don't dye it or anything. People are always asking me, what's your natural hair color or uh, what do you do to your hair? Guys, I have, what, what year are we in? 2017? I have not dyed or bleached or did anything to my hair since 2010. That was the last time I did anything. It was blue and I've done platinum blonde before, a hot pink. Um, I think, I don't think I've done green or anything, but I've, a champagne, um, champagne blonde, rosé blonde, I've done all that stuff before it was actually a craze, so. And then I'm sure there are other people who are going to be like, oh, I've done that way before you too, but that's okay. But this is just what my hair looks like, and it's, for the most part, brown. It's really healthy. I use an organic shampoo and conditioner. I don't put excessive, I don't put any excessive heat. I don't straighten my hair. I don't curl my hair. I don't do anything. It. I just let it air dry, actually, and this is actually... One of the few times that I actually do blow dry my hair, just because the um, instructions actually say that we should do that. And um, we're going to go ahead and open this, because I've never opened this before, so. This thing, it's hard to open because you can tell that the the product is as big as the box, which makes it um, a little bit difficult. What the f***? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's huge. What is this? This is like a frosted glass um, jar, and then the top is plastic, and um, oh, it actually has more information on the inside. Safety information, which is good. Accidental contact with the eyes. If the hair wax gets into your eyes, do not rub your eye. Immediately flush it with clear, warm, lukewarm water. Avoid flushing with excessively strong running water. <laughs> 
just take a hose to your eye and just see what happens, right? And as this might damage your eye, if you have a sensation of pain or dust-like particles in your eye, aka if it feels like there's glass or sand in your eyeball, seek prompt medical attention from an eye specialist, meaning uh, please get whatever is in there removed because it could probably scratch your cornea and then you will be in pain for a couple days. And I think that's about it, so let's go ahead and open it. Oh, well, there's another little uh, cap, hygienic cap on the inside. Oh, dear God. This is what it looks like. I'm kind of scared. I'm so scared now. Oh, this is weird, okay? So it smells like, like really clean, a really clean guy. Or, well, girls can talk to this too. Okay, it smells like Lever 2000, all right? No, the non-aloe version one. This is the original Lever 2000. And let's see what the texture is like. So I'm just going to take some off of here. Oh, it's really um, creamy, I would say. And shit, I'm probably going to stain my hands now. So it just says that we should just go ahead, put it in. Okay, so rub it in the palm. Rub in your palms to your fingers. And then with the fingers open... Insert into the scalp direction and then pulling up the hair together repeat. So basically just do this. Let me take my ring off. So man, I just cleaned my hair, but all for the sake of great YouTube videos and science, right? So I'm gonna take uh like maybe about this much. I basically cleaned the, the top lid right here, and this is maybe like a half dollar size, and we are going to it looks kind of like a frosted pink and stuff. It doesn't really look red to me, but oh well. Scary, scary, scary. Oh my god, this is scary. Now it's pink. It's not red anymore. Uh, it looks like frosting. Okay. Um, my hair, my scalp is generally oily, so I'm going to keep it away from my scalp uh, until we get a little bit closer. So I'm just going to pick a small portion and... Start adding stuff to it. Oh god. I mean, I've watched some videos and that's just what people were doing. They're just taking it and adding it on. And my god, I think my hands are metallic and they're probably stained. Oh my god, my hands are stained. No. God damn it. But oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, this is actually for my costume, so I'm supposed to, instead of going the wig route, I decide I would just use this and and um, hopefully get my hair a little bit redder. I used to have red hair though, but like when I was dying a long time ago, but not anymore. So this is how it turned out. I mean, I'm honestly going to say that I was looking at my viewfinder the whole time for reference as to what I was doing. And probably if I was in front of my sink or if I'm probably going to go onto Amazon and look for some more tools on to how to actually use this properly, then I would probably know exactly what to do with this. But it looks okay. It's a little swatchy, but like I said, right tools and if we're not doing like a first impression thing like if I just get the hang of this I'll probably be able to use it it did wash off but then then again I went and got some more on my hands after I was uh, handling like my comb and brush and then even though it still looks like hair as you can see it just does that right but the color will kind of just stick like you see like right here it's just much lighter than it is up here and like there's this patch down here that's just doing its own thing. I have no idea. I think if I play with it more, I'll probably figure it out. But right now, I'm just too lazy, too tired to actually figure that out. Oh, one thing is definitely, it doesn't stain your clothing, but you just want to be careful that um, when you're brushing it out, there's a lot of fallout. Like, because 
obviously the 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 hair product it turns into like a chalk material like a really dry matte material and if you're brushing it out you're gonna have like really this powdery um, material that's all over the place I mean it got on my pajama pants it got on my shirt but it didn't stain or anything you just dust it and it just goes right off so that's not a huge issue but uh, you know that's what it looks like obviously um, I didn't care too much about the back but this is just because we're just trying this out now but you know when I'm actually getting closer to Halloween and stuff I'll definitely try and get this to actually work for me better and hopefully you guys enjoyed me turning my hair from very nice just shampooed you know, flowy goddess look into this which I like the color I just don't like the texture but that's fine like I said for Halloween this is totally okay all right thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time